You know, I'm hungry and I'm ready for a tuna fish salad. You know, I'm, I'm a little peckish right now. I thought I'd make me a tuna fish salad sandwich and I realized the tuna fish salad sandwich has a base that can be converted over to other dishes in southern cooking. So I thought that I would show you how to do something very simple and use that base of knowledge so that you can apply it to other things. So stick around. Before we get started with um, doing this, I thought I'd show you a neat little way to peel eggs. So I've got this in a jar and I've got the end of it sealed. Um, the reason why I got sealed just so I can hold on to it and it don't come flying out. But all you do, you just roll this around both hands. I'm doing it one-handed because of videoing. Uh, trying not to make you sick. But we'll do this for about a minute or two and it will actually cause the egg to be totally peeled. All you got to do is when you're done with it is put it in um, some uh, water. Right now I got about a tablespoon of um, blue plate mayonnaise. I thought we had some uh, sweet pickle relish but we don't so what I'm going to do is take about uh, one to two gherkins and chop them up real fine. I'm going to add just the slightest bit of this sweet pickle brine. Okay, now we're going to mix this up. Now, if if you, um, with this, you actually have the base for a lot of dishes in southern cooking. For instance, if you added, uh, like, shredded cabbage, shredded carrots, you would basically have... A southern coleslaw right now. If you used dill pickle instead of sweet pickle you would have a northwest Florida dill slaw which is normally just dill pickles, mayonnaise, and shredded cabbage although you could put uh, shredded carrots in there as well. Normally we just do green uh, cabbage, we don't do red cabbage when we do dill slaw and then the more colorful sweet slaw is um, done with carrots and red cabbage and shredded green cabbage. Now with this, you do have a base. Now we're going to add something else to this. We're going to add one egg chopped up. Again, we mix this up. If we had added in, you know, about four eggs and maybe a teaspoon of mustard or just mustard to taste, you would have an egg salad sandwich. Now this right here is also base for other things. So one thing that you could do is take um, like one to two uh, boiled potatoes cut up, mix that in with a tablespoon of mustard, and you would have a, um, a southern potato salad. If you took chicken and added into this with just maybe a, an, again, maybe a teaspoon of mustard, yellow mustard, you would have a chicken salad sandwich base or a chicken salad base that is southern style. But we're going to add tuna fish. So next thing we got to do is add one can of drained tuna fish. And this is just a half ounce can of chunk like tuna and water. And just add that in and stir it in. Now I'm a dill fanatic, so I'm going to add about a tablespoon of dill weed. This is totally optional. Now we just stir this up. Here we go, nice little sandwich right here. Me to eat. Now I'm going to go eat this sandwich because I'm about to starve to death. I hadn't ate all day and it's about 3 o'clock. But... I did want to show you that you can use something very common in any cuisine. It don't have to be Southern. It can be Italian, French, Spanish, Asian, whatever. There are bases that lead to other dishes. And if you learn those bases, you really don't need a recipe once you understand the fundamentals of that cuisine. 
So I was just trying to show you a simple way that you can take something as very innocuous as a tuna fish salad sandwich and make southern potato salad, uh, southern chicken salad, two different types of coleslaw. So you could do that very easily. Don't really need a recipe. Everything is to taste. And now you have in your repertoire a number of dishes that you can fix for any event. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps us out. If you've ever made tuna fish salad sandwich this way or you um, have done this with other cuisines or you've seen patterns with other cuisines, make a comment down below. I'd love to hear your comments. And then, if you haven't subscribed, and why haven't you? I mean, you've been watching until now. Go ahead, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be alerted of future content. And I'll see you again next time. Bye.